It may be the most high-profile case in Waukesha County history, the stabbing of a 12-year-old girl by her two classmates. They said it was to prove the existence of the fictional internet monster, Slenderman. Because we had to supposedly prove ourselves worthy to Slender. The trials for suspects Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser start next month, and because of the publicity, thousands of potential jurors were sent forms asking nearly a hundred questions, such as their opinions about the criminal justice system, mental health treatment, and most importantly, whether they have an opinion about the guilt of Wire or Geyser. Anyone who didn't return it was ordered into court. Even though they hadn't submitted those questionnaires, the jurors who showed up in court here today were able to fill it out out here at this table and avoid being fined. Still, each one got a lecture from the judge. Jury service is, uh, is an important function of being a citizen. There's very strict rules with regard to serving on juries and to be sure that information that's needed to determine the status of you as a juror is forwarded to the court. But they're getting off easy. The judge issued arrest warrants for the 15 jurors who didn't show. I'll issue a capius for their arrest and I will uh, issue a, impose a forfeiture of $500 each. And he hopes it'll serve as a warning to other potential jurors not to ignore jury duty. In Waukesha, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.